hello everyone. I'm Martin Di Maggio. I am a, a British-raised Arboresh speaker. Um, Arboresh is a language related to Albanian, and our ancestors uh, left the Epirus and Pindus region uh, on what's now the border of Greece and Albania in uh, maybe 700 years ago. And they settled in Morea, which is the current Peloponnese. And 500 years ago, roughly, our ancestors traveled to uh, the kingdom of Naples, which is now Sicily and uh, Italy in general. And um, I, my family are from a village called Santa Cristina Gela or Santa Cristina, which is 21 kilometers away from Palermo, the capital of Sicily. Hello, my name is Lydia Kucha. I, I am Arbreche because I speak Arbreche. I was born in Piana degli Albanesi, known before the Second World War as Piana dei Greci. My ancestors come from the, exactly the same place uh, Martin Di Maggio come, so I don't need to explain all that. Uh, my parents taught me how to speak Arbreche, and I have always been very much involved uh, with this language that I love, and I hope to help preserve. Hello, I'm George. I'm from Greece. Uh, I come from Prevesa, uh, sitting in the northwest of Greece, where uh, Arvanitica was spoken a lot. Uh, Arvanitica is a language very closely related to Albanian and Arboresh. Uh, unfortunately, I do not speak any of those languages. I only speak my native language is Greek. Uh, and I'm also a Greek tutor. I teach modern Greek. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was wonderful, guys. And what we're going to do now is basically just do, uh, we'll start with Martin, do the first Arbresh uh, word, and then we'll do one Greek word, and then Lydia, you're going to come to mm -hmm. you. Basically, the order that I had it. Written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're ready, Martin, you can get started. Okay, so the first word for George to guess is Fulaki. Fulaki. This means prison. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Ara. In, in Greek is a uh, filaki. Filaki. Uh. Yeah. So the first word is horio. 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 Mm. The first ah. time is horio. Is it a villager? Very close. Uh, Village. Village, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Our word is hor. Uh, my first word is drom. I repeat, drom. You don't have to repeat, it's fine. It means street or road. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Next one is Yitonya. <laughs> Yitonya is Yitonya. the neighborhood. Neighborhood, correct, yeah. Gitonia, we say. Mm. Gitonia. No. Gitonia. Uh, and we Bain say Gitonia. for for the neighbor, we say giton or gitoni. Yes. Well, yeah, in Greek is gitonas uh, and gitonis uh, for the female. Uh, uh, the next word is papas. Papas. Priest. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, actually, we say papas, for example, papas Marco, papas Sutiri. Um, some people say papa, uh, Sutiri, papa Marco, etc. Um, <clears throat> and we have a bit of internal variation, obviously. So I think Lydia would say papa and I would say papas. And mm. there you go. Mm. I say papa. <laughs> Okay. Papa Sutiri, Papa Lifteri, Papa Marco. Next one is Stolizo. 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 Uh, is to, to decorate. It is. Uh, but uh, in, a, in exaggeration, in a way, Stoliz. For us, it's Stoliz. To decorate, mm. to arrange. Do you use it for only objects or for people as well no we can use it for a person but 
in a way which would be like a ridicule in look. Yes, I like see you stole this. So it would be <laughs> well. Yeah, in Greek, in Greek, you can use it like to decorate pretty much anything. Uh, if you turn it into a passive voice verb, it means to uh, basically dress up and uh, wear makeup or whatever. And uh, you can also use it as an insult. In uh, when you decorate somebody, it means you start swearing at them, essentially. <laughs> yeah. No, no. For us, uh, when we say the person you stole is, yeah. you, the person you stole is, it means that the person has tried way too hard oh, and it okay. went over the top, over the top. Mm. I will say, parcales. Parcales. Is there a reply to thank you, as in you're welcome? Mm. Or, or it could mean I, I'm begging you to do something. You might have to like do the little bit of explaining. There is a connection, but how you use it in our brush is a little different. Ah, nice. But yeah. when you beg, sometimes you beg to mm. Jesus or to God. So, yeah, sure. Um, but I actually think that what Lydia was saying is going to get it. He's going to get it from what Lydia is saying. Okay, so I so. will say, <laughs> when you beg somebody, yeah, sometimes you beg to God. Yeah, so I guess... It is to parcales. Parcales, I guess, means to, to pray. That's right. Yes. yes. Yeah, and that's why, um, actually, the E-S ending, S, is our mm. conjugation in the singular um for uh i think what how do you say it um the first person break. is paracalo exactly yeah so we replace the o with s e s mm -hmm. Paracales. Paracales. okay yeah. and actually sometimes when somebody says um thank you you can answer to parcales yeah uh yeah so like same in greek like you're welcome Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But the verb itself actually means to pray, like Lydia said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next one is Yatros. Ah, doctor. Doctor, Yatro. yeah. Yatro. Yatro. <laughs> and and uh, there's also the verb Yatron, which mm -hmm. means to heal, to treat. Yeah. Uh, the, the verb in Greek would be Yatrevo. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got a word from Calabrian Arboresh. So, uh, me and Lydia speak Sicolo Arboresh, which is Sicilian Arboresh, and this one is from uh, Calabria, um, and it's Vascali uh, Nadiovasi uh, Nelibr Neliber. So I'll say again, Vascali Nadiovasi Neliber. The teacher is reading the book. Yes. Yeah, okay. Lydia, do you know? Eharisto, I understand, say it to Haristis. I mm. thank you. Mm. But the rest I didn't get. Ευχαριστώ πολύ, γιατρέ. Thank you very much, doctor. doctor. Good, correct. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, because we would say the Haris this shum yatro. Oh, wouldn't it be like uh, many thanks? Because poly is many, right? Yeah, or much as well. Oh, much too. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. or a lot. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Papa Sutiri. Yerdi tehora me gaidurin. Father Sotiris came to the village on a donkey. Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. Potizo enan vasiliko 
στο μπαλκόνι. Α, ah, I water the basilica, the, the basilic, how do you say? Yes, basilic, basil. that is basil. Oh, the basil. The basil, right? Yeah. Basil, yeah. basil, yeah. I said it in French. Yeah, yeah the basil. Basil, yeah. that is in the balcony. Yeah, nice. What if I say, ποτίζω έναν βασιλικό με πολλά λουλούδια στο μπαλκόνι. Ah. With water from the rain? I'll say it again. I just changed one bit in the sentence. It ah. is, ποτίζω έναν βασιλικό με πολλά λουλούδια στο μπαλκόνι. I, I water a basil plant on the balcony with many flowers. Lula. Luluvia, no. Ah. Meshum lula. Meshum lula. Yeah, in Greek is a luluvi, flower. Ah. Natomi mm. lule. Lula. No, oh, we say lula. Yeah, new lule, shum lule. Mm. Lulet, mm. yantu bukura. The What flowers are beautiful. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. I think I was on mute. Hi. She just came to say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Chetori. Chetori. <laughs> hi, that's Daddy. Yes. Hi, Daddy. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> that, that's right. So hi. we'll just continue basically where we were. So <laughs> we're going to read a couple more uh, of rush words and uh, see. Okay. If yes. Um, Kormi. Body. Yes. Yeah, in, in Greek as well is a uh, kormi. And uh, there's another word, uh, kormos, which means uh, a trunk, uh, like a trunk of the tree or the main body of something. Yeah. Oh, interesting. By the way, just to say that these words that we're using, they only exist in our bresh, as far mm. as as far as we know. Um, there may be some uh, varieties of Albanian in the south, perhaps, that use them mm -hmm. colloquially. But um, we... Uh, We know uh, the the Albanian equivalents, is at least the standards, are, are completely different. U parcales, mati nujeje. I prayed for something, but he didn't listen. He didn't bring it to me. He didn't. He doesn't hear. He doesn't hear. He doesn't hear. He doesn't, he doesn't listen. Yeah, geke. Uh, I I don't know if it's related at all, but uh, there is a word in colloquial Greek called geke. Which means uh, it is a bit like uh, the way you use in English the word uh, capiche. Like uh, it's a bit of an aggressive way to say, "Did you understand what I said to you?" Uh -huh. okay. yeah. Ah, yeah. But um, it might actually originally have meant uh, to to listen or to hear. Like, do you mm -hmm. hear that? Do you hear me? I yeah. think it's just um, interesting to show the richness of Arbaresh. As mm. as you know, we did a video comparing with Albanian words. We did a video comparing with Sicilian words. Now we did comparing with Greek, and that's really covering all of our contact situation. Right, <laughs> so, right. Yeah. It's very interesting. Very yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I was saying that the, the very intriguing part is that the Greek connection with Agresh is not shared with uh, Sicilian or Albanian. I mean, there are. Greek words in Sicilian and Albanian as well, but the ones that oh, yeah. we were using here in this video are are different. So it makes them distinct. Yeah. That's what makes this very interesting. Right. Yeah, they are very uniquely Arboresh words shared with mm. Greek. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Well, thank you okay. so much. Thank uh, you. Thank, thank you. Thanks a lot to George uh, because I want to say to the audience, we did have two Greek participants, but something happened last minute and We just had to make do with uh, uh, doing it this way. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You had this. You you had this. Thank you. Take care. Bye.